May 20th, 1995. After losing his WBA, Michael Moore, Evander Holyfield is on the comeback. Merciless. Ray Mercer would be a brawling, bloody 10-round war. Holyfield Mercer. Very direct in Ali when he was never hit the canvas in his career. And Vander has a spectacular jab when he's on with it. He's very precise. Now, the question is, what do you want to be able to push through that or not? In terms of the Kindor pounds, but he did have to cut to 40 at the early stage. Or Holyfield catches him with a hook. I'm pretty sure of that. Of course, there's a Tommy. The other Ray make it a little bit more of a physical fight. That test will move on to the layoff, and the left hook looked good, John. It seems like Evander was trying out several different punches this part. Second round of our heavyweight main event from here at the Atlantic City Convention, just a 10 rounder, but everything Marion Wilson. Prior to that, he had the rematch with Jesse Ferguson. You know, putting the pressure on, I think that's going to help him later if the real thing. Self doubts can be combination. There's a good right hand right between the guard of the way that he's going to get him tired. Good right hand coming from Mercer. Turn back with his own jab to slow him down. Does so there and a right hand by Mercer to close out the second round. Finished up strong in that second round, John. I think Ray could have stole the round there at the end. It was kind of an uneventful round, not a really decisive round either way. Showing that aggression and getting advantage. Right hand to close out the final seconds of the round. It's his time. Feels he needs this to remain. Right hand after the double jab from Mercer. Jab, and that, that turns out bad for him in almost every instance. Mercer throws a lead in hand. So far, whoever you, whoever leads with the jab seems. Holyfield comes back with the straight left hand after the what? There's a nice re when Holyfield went to lift his left hand. Picks up here in the final minute of this third round. His jabs more willing to take a step in. Third round between. You gotta stay with the jam. Soon as you spin, half step. John? And the uh, Holyfield's countering well, while Ray, Ray seems to be aggressive in, in spots like this, and he looks off his own jabs and Ray's aggression. Ray's got back Holyfield up a little bit, put some pressure on his home. What an exchange here in round four. But he hasn't really thrown a punch in about 15 advantage of something here. But they, they exchange with each other. Dunning upset and sending the better part of medical issues. Retired doctors have verified the fact that Evander Holyfield has no heart defect. So Ray's got Evander backing up. He should keep that momentum going. Ray has to, even if he has to engage him physically back. Right hand from Mercer, Holyfield throws one of his own. In a roundabout way, what you're basically... I don't care who you are. If you're a Vander Holyfield right now, you have some questions in your mind. And Ray has to find answers to those questions. End of four. Holyfield, the long layoff and coming into the fight. First half of this fight. In and force him to back up. But right now he's only making contact with Vander. He's not. His body shot with a right hand after the section. Had success with that earlier. And then comes back with right hand upstairs, does Ray Mercer. Now, if he wanted to really play mental game with Holyfield's mind, that's a, that was a trick actually that Sugar Ray Robinson used to do. He used to throw. throw. Word, Holyfield caught him with a right hand.
Mercer fall a bit more. Seems like he hasn't worked as much in his fifth round as he did in the. So it could be, you know, it could be maybe the other guys. Each guy punches hard. They're not the type of guy you can give him leeway. You can't to his advantage, and he'll definitely step on the 80-yard line. He just takes off, and, and he gets 10 yards on you, and you just feel like there's no way you can catch him. Now, he gives this to the man. That's what he takes advantage of. There's the jab. that. And Evander didn't do anything, so he should punch and punch. He'll, do, he'll go at this pace 100 rounds. He'll do it. Mercer came in strong. Good lead right hand from Mercer. And then a snap jab off the hip. Mercer now has a little bounce to his step. Another right hand. Oh, very likely, but the last four rounds are going to be huge. Don Turner and Tommy Brooks seem to a cut. Skelly, let's see if we can find how that cut was started. Maybe not. Yeah, I would say that that's a good shot there. That is, as always, in supreme, a chisel 209 pounds. But what kind of shape is his turret? That was the question. Himself together so he can hit me with a hard jab right hand. One, two for Murray. See blood streaming down the face of Evander Holyfield. <laughs> About the clash head potential there on the inside. Sharp left hand by Holyfield as Mercer came forward. They did on the cut, did not hold up. Good jab. Right. He can't stop there and give gets because as long as he's moved, taking little steps and letting his hands up here and let him in. Van already hurt a little bit with the eye. He can't let for this round here and give it away. He wants him. He's definitely keeping him off balance. Left here hook. It comes. Oh, and the effects of that left hook look like Mercer kind of had a little delay effect at left hook from Holyfield. The round that Mercer was winning, Holyfield is going to take with this. Mercer for the first time in his career. Himself for that one. John, watch for the left hook here. How do you pull it off? He just caught coming. He does what advantage his hands go. You're aggressive with him without throwing punches. His hands go good, and how hurt he was. Another look. Left hook again comes in from Holyfield. Greatest reps in heavyweight boxing his Vander Holyfield. What an amazing career it's been. Well, he's definitely got more energy. This is a much different Evander Holyfield down the stretch. Field. They will have three minutes to go from Atlantic City. It is now or never for 34-year-old Ray Mercer. And the now came in the ninth, a ninth round that I felt he won John Scully. Above all else, he erased any tenth and final round. They are trying to damn fight. Instead, it inspires of urgency here. I, I would feel like he's got to feel like he's probably a little bit behind, especially with the situation. It's only going to get worse for him if he doesn't have to get some respect from Holyfield. Holyfield, the one taking small steps forward, not Mercer, and you would think there would be urgent or anything like that because he's not. Ray should be a little bit desperate. Mercer falls in with a right hand and then brings down Holyfield. He might be a factor. If anything, he might be the one. We were worried about Holyfield's fatigue. Holy hears that 10 second clap, and it's like an alarm going off for him. From that moment in round onward. Vander finished nicely, really, really well. An alarm of urgency. Yeah, he was a completely different fight. Mercer obviously feels good about his performance tonight. And the Vander, uh, he reacted like a champion should. Important win for a Vander Holt.